first we're going to talk about temperature. What is temperature? Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of molecules. So you know if you heat something up, the molecules will move faster and faster and faster. As they move faster, we say they have more kinetic energy, more energy by being in motion. Similarly, if we, if we cool something down, the molecules get slower and slower and slower. The temperature scale that we use in the United States, and like one other country in the world, is the Fahrenheit scale. We're not going to use that in science, but I want to use it briefly as um, a reference point for you. You probably know that pure water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> you probably also know that body temperature is about 98 degrees Fahrenheit. When the Fahrenheit scale was set, um, they intended to set it with zero degrees Fahrenheit being the freezing point of water. But it was ocean water that was freezing at zero degrees Fahrenheit. So originally the scale was set to be from freezing of water to body temperature as having a 100 degree span. Ends up not being exactly 100. These two points are important though. And when we work in the Celsius scale, degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is zero degrees Celsius, 212 Fahrenheit is 100 degrees Celsius. Body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius. Room temperature is considered in the low 20s. The Celsius scale is also called the centigrade scale because we have 100 separating the freezing point and the boiling point of water. Can we have something colder than zero degrees? We sure can. We can have negative five degrees. If you measured the temperature in your freezer in Celsius, it's probably about negative five, negative 10 degrees Celsius. Mathematically, this could introduce a problem. If we plug zero in for a calculation, the problem's over. Similarly, negative numbers can raise a different issue. So we use a third scale, a lot in science, which is known as the Kelvin scale. It's not degrees Kelvin, just Kelvin. The coldest possible temperature on the Celsius scale is negative 273 degrees Celsius. That is known as absolute zero. That's the point where if we cool something down further and further and further, absolute zero is the point where molecular motion stops entirely. When we use the Kelvin scale, we set the lowest possible temperature to be zero Kelvin. Zero degrees Celsius is 273 Kelvin. 100 degrees Celsius is 373 Kelvin. You can probably infer how we can convert from Celsius to Kelvin. If I want the Kelvin temperature, I'm going to take the Celsius temperature and add 273 to it. So taking a look at some quick examples. Suppose I want to convert 37 degrees Celsius to Kelvin, and we're going to convert 210 Kelvin to degrees Celsius. 37 degrees Celsius to Kelvin, I'm going to plug the 37 in here. 37 plus 273 will give me 310 Kelvin. If I want to go the other direction and go from 210 Kelvin to degrees Celsius, I'm going to have to subtract 273 instead of add. So 210 minus 273 problems pushing buttons, 210 minus 273 gives me negative 63 Kelvin. A couple conversions for you to quickly try. 